Family and friends of Alex and Madeline, welcome to the beautiful Seattle Aquarium. I had planned to open the ceremony by making as many sea creature puns as I possibly could, but <laughs> I realize this is about these two and I would be shellfish to stand up here and make jokes. But I will say it's no secret that I am honored to have the opportunity to be the wedding official and help Alex marry the gill of his dreams. All right, that is out of my system now. But at the reception, if you think of any other fish puns, please let me know. We meet today in this beautiful city to celebrate the love of Maddie and Alex. We are all here to celebrate happiness, specifically the happiness of Alex and Madeline. They're happy to be here. And they're very happy that you came all the way here. And most of all, they're happy that they don't have to plan this wedding anymore. <laughs> Maddie and Alex, both of you are here by choice. You're in front of your family, friends, and paid bartender <laughs> to show everyone that you've made a choice to be happy. You're choosing to be with someone who enhances you, makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day awesome. You are both about to make promises to each other that will last your lifetime. We've been through it all, dude, and uh, I'm so proud of who you've become, and I'm so thrilled that he is as happy as I am to be here today. Thank you so much for taking this gentleman, uh, and I know he's gonna do right by you. And uh, as a marriage professional, I'm three years deep, so I mean, I'm essentially an expert here, but uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, just be honest with each other, even if it's hard. Always challenge each other and never settle. Always strive to be better and push each other towards that. And you will be happy for the rest of your life, I promise you. Alex, do you take Madeline to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding only unto her forevermore? I do. And Madeline, do you take Alex to be your husband? You promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding only unto him forevermore? I do. Maddie was always a romantic. Her room and her clothes were always decorated with a delicate flair that kind of had an edge of feminism. She's a Victorian lady, a corporate executive, and a prima donna wrapped into one being. <laughs> Maddie can be showy, Anyone at the rehearsal dinner would have seen her boa. <laughs> but when she genuinely declares, I love this man about Alex, that's not for show. Alex is generous, patient, and honestly hilarious. I came to visit her last year with my daughter. And he happened to be in Boston those few days. He'd call and the two of them would go back and forth in Boston accents, spouting nonsense to each other. And it happened to be the first time I caught a glimpse of that side of Alex. And as strange as it sounds, that's when I knew my sister was going to be happy. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I do, do wed. I thee wed. There you go. Nice. I got it. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. Sorry, I forgot my lines. Okay. <laughs> that I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring. I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. I don't think that I've ever met a person in my life that would be more perfect for my sister than Alex. The way that those two look at each other and the way that they're together, nothing else in the world matters and you can tell by the way that they interact. Alex is going to be an absolutely amazing husband and I know that because he has been such a good friend to me and he always goes out of his way to make sure that I am happy and that I am always safe. Having a six foot five towering over us girls at the bar is great because then nobody wants to talk to us, which is amazing, especially when we don't want to talk to anybody else. I cannot wait to watch the life that him and Maddie grow together because the one that they have created already is absolutely inspiring. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Alex, you may kiss your bride. Gentlemen, it is
is my honor to be the first to present Mr. and Mrs. Novak. So uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you, Maddie and Alex, for letting us join you today on this special day. God. Mr. and Mrs. Novak, always kiss each other goodnight. If you're fighting, always kiss each other goodnight. And that way you'll last forever. All right. Cheers. Mary Kay is saying, Mandy's great, unbelievable girl. And before you know it, uh, he evolved into all of a sudden Mandy's in my basement. <laughs> And, and Alex and Mandy are living together in the basement with a couple cats and a dog that wants to kill them. Uh, so, you are amazing, girl. Your personality is so good. I was like, I love this girl. I hope Alex stays with her in my, in my head. Toast our glass. I love you both so much. You guys, I love you a lot. Thanks. Novak. <laughs>